this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to cover how to add an effect, which is to take uh, any regular photo, usually wedding photos work best for any photo that has a lot of white into it, that you want to make uh, a bit more romantic, a bit more, uh, a bit punchier, um, with an effect that's essentially called the soft overlay diffusion effect. It's quite a mouthful. But essentially what you're looking to do, and I'll show you here on this picture, is um, to just accentuate the photo more, bring out the details more. But the, the, the interesting part of this is to make it uh, first of all, to make it a little bit softer uh, of an effect so that it seems like things are a little bit glowing and more diffused, a little bit blurry, and also paying attention to not actually blow out any of the details. And this is why I mentioned a lot of white, usually as well, a lot of blacks as well. So, for example, um, it's very common with wedding photos, for example, you know, you have the groom in black, bright and white, and those are the two extremes, and you want to keep the detail in both these things. In simil similarly, in this photo here, we want to do all these things, make it a little bit romantic and so forth, but we don't want to lose any of the detail that we have here on the clothing and on the sky and so forth. So I'll show you how to do this right now. So the first thing we want to do here is just to duplicate the layer. So we're going to do a shortcut for uh, duplicating the layer, which is Control and J. We'll have uh, two layers here. And now we want to change that uh, layer to overlay. So we're going to change the mode to overlay. And that instantly, as you can see, already punches up the photo. But uh, what it's doing here is uh, you're losing the details in, in the shadows. So, for example, a lot of the hair here, the detail, is being lost. Let's remove that for you to see, right? And also some of the details in the white uh, starts uh, getting blown out. And uh, the highlights you start getting blown out, essentially. So uh, it's we're going to fix that. Essentially, this is sort of the look that we want, but we want to make it a little bit more romantic and preserve all the details, essentially. So the way that we do this is, uh, first of all, let's make it a little bit more romantic. Uh, the step in doing that is actually just adding a blur to this. So we're going to go into Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And now we're going to add a blur. And, and you can see, basically, from the the radius will depend on how much of this effect you want to apply to your photo. But just start off uh, with nothing, essentially, a radius of 0.1. And then just start moving the slider over to a part to an effect that you like, you, you'll start seeing that the effect, the the image starts becoming a little bit more dreamy, uh, and and it is it's sort of blurred, but you can still see the details. It's a little bit fuzzy, but uh, it, it just gives you that sort of like that dream-like effect. So just give it enough uh, of a dream effect that you like for this photo. Uh, for example, I'll select something in the five uh, region. I'll click OK, and now what we want to do is add a layer mask. And now we're going to do something that, uh, apply an effect that's actually been in Photoshop for a very long time, but most people actually probably never heard of it. They just usually just skip over it. Go into image, and if you don't have the option, it's kind of hidden, so click on the show menu items here. It's actually here, image and apply image. Most people have never heard of this. Essentially, apply image is really a really good way of actually adding uh, the image as a layer mask. Uh, I'll, I'll show you exactly what it is instead of trying to explain here. If you just leave it uh, exactly as as it comes, uh, it remembers what you did before, but uh, if you've never used this before, uh, it'll just uh, use a, a default setting, which is what we want. So essentially, we want the layer uh, to be the uh, merged layer. Uh, it'll come up as a merged layer, I believe, in yours as well. It's just the, uh, the layer that you created and added the layer mask to. And you want the blending mode to be multiply. And essentially, if you look here, what you see is you have the uh, the original layer here, the, the copy of the layer, and then whereas the layer mask was white before, right, without anything, uh, we've actually added that image itself as a uh, layer mask. So we're going to head and click OK, and I'll untick this uh, the, the viewability of the... Uh, of the background layer for you to see what it's doing. And it, it just took the whole image and basically all the shadows, it's masking out all the shadows of the image. So uh, at the moment we have the uh, the highlights and we have the midtones of the image, but the shadows have been completely removed, all right? So at the moment we're masking out the shadows, which means we're not affecting the shadows. So just by the sheer vir virtue of that, what we've done is the effect of overlay is still there, but we've removed the effect of it on the darker areas, right? I'll just undo here for you to see what it is that we did. So if you look at here, the, the hair area, area, um, like I said, it was being affected. And after we've applied the apply image, 
there we are. We've brought back all that detail because no longer is the overlay being affected, uh, is affecting the shadows. Uh, the other thing that we want to do as well, so, so for example, if you had a, a picture of a groom or you know, detail on hair and so forth, we've solved that problem. But uh, with the bride and white and, and highlights and so forth, uh, you're still, it's still being affected. So the way that we correct this is making sure that we're still on the layer mask. We're going to go into filter. I'm just going to show all the items here. We're going to go into stylize and solarize. So filter, stylize, and solarize. There are no options for this. It basically just does something which makes it seem like it just removed uh, the uh, white highlights. And that's exactly what it did. Let me just undo here for you to see what it is that I did. So before, here's the image as it was, still affecting the highlights. Once we've applied stylize, um, then solarize. Then what we've done, and I'll un untick here the viewability of the background for you to see again what's been affecting, is that we've removed, remember how we removed here all this area here that used to be black was removed? Now everything else that was white uh, has been removed as well. So what are we left with in this mask? Well, we are only affecting the midtones, essentially. So we're not affecting anything that's dark. We're not affecting anything that's light. So for a wedding photo or something that, like in this image, where things would be affected, we are no longer affecting it. All we're doing is now adding overlay and punching up um, the details and making it more dreamy on the midtones, which is the skin color and everything between grass and so forth. So now we can go back in to uh, still remaining <laughs> one more time into our uh, layer mask. What we want to do now is just to punch up that uh, that effect a bit because what it's essentially done, if I remove and then add the effect, it's very subtle what it's doing right now. So we want to emphasize that a little bit more. But again, we're only going to be emphasizing it now only on the midtones. So the way to emphasize it, uh, making sure we are on the layer mask, very important. We go into image adjustments and levels. And now what we can do is just take this little white slider here and just move it all the way to the left. Well, not all the way, but just keep on moving it to the left. And you'll start seeing that the effect starts coming in. So let me just take away the preview here, move this about here. So I'll untick the, the preview. So this is as it was, and this is it is it now. So as you can see, we're not affecting much of the highlights, but we are in effect affecting the uh, midtones. So this is a good way to actually bring back that uh, that effect without blowing out any of the details. So something like this will do. We'll click OK. And uh, there we are. So we have the before. And now we have the more dreamy, uh, romantic, you know, um, photo effect, which will go really well with wedding photos or anything uh, in, you know, within this this aspect, something very that, that would work with, with this effect. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.